Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. It's the Synthetic Dawn expansion, and we are playing the Quillbot Pacifists. We are a machine intelligence race that has determined that we have to bring peace to the entire galaxy, and the only way to do that is to eliminate all forms of individual thought and all organic life. Only the one single machine hive intelligence can be allowed to survive. That's the only way to ensure that everything's going to be a-okay. Uh, we've just started, waiting for a few more minerals to come in here so we can get our construction ship to build a few more uh, mining centers. And uh, we did find some good planet uh, candidate to colonize, some relatively large ones over here. And we don't care about planet types. We have 200% habitability everywhere because we're robots. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence, reads a popular news post, newsnet post on Earth. The people of the Quillbot pacifists are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record. But potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. Science officer Autonomous Drone 44's report on the traces found on Triton seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. So we know that we found like, you know, bacterial life and maybe some lower life forms, especially on Alpha Centauri here, but no intelligent life yet still. We, we suspect and we worry that it's out there. Uh, speaking of Triton, we're going to go ahead and build a mining station there for three minerals. Very curious to see what, what the planet situation with these bad boys are. Because um, this... Oh yeah, we do have two planets here. Oh, and this one's got some uh, Batharian stone and some alien pets. That's actually probably what we detected. I forgot there were two planets here. This one's kind of meh. But this one, first of all, size 16 is acceptable, I guess. And yeah, Batharian Stone and Alien Pets over here. It actually has, most of the tiles have some pretty good stuff on it, including an emphasis on science. We, of course, I don't believe need any food. Um, I think if we were playing the Caretaker variant, then I believe we would, but we're not, so we don't. Earth has finished its construction queue. We still don't have that population yet. Also, our ships are done doing their ting over here. Um, I think I'm going to move my military ships up here, and my science ship... My construction ship, once it's done actually buffing out Seoul, will probably build a wormhole gate right over here. It should open up a lot more systems for us to check out over here, and then we'll uh, we'll start scouting it out with our military. Um, so I don't think I have to rush into building anything else here. Um, what I may do, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this blocker. Um, no, I don't need to rush into clearing the blocker either, because I'd rather keep my minerals for my... Uh, Anomalous surface variable. My... Um, my construction ship over here so really we're on a tight budget right now um serious the blazing fires of sirius one might be throwing our sensors off but we're picking up readings uh out of the ordinary what at the sun itself it's level two anomaly base risk two percent can never be lower than five percent i'll um uh, i'm gonna leave it for now we're trying to we'll try to come back when we're level three play it a little bit safe here I mean, we're immortal robots. We can we can afford to be patient. No need to throw our individual subcomponents um, away for no reason. Pop construction is complete on Earth. Excellent. Uh, there we go. And construction ship over here. I started that. We will then queue up. Oh, that's four minerals over here. What? Okay, we're just gonna queue up that one. That'll eat our minerals. We're just going to wait to accrue some more. Actually, we'll want to we'll want to start clearing the blocker the second we can now. I'm happy that we got that queued up, but now we've got to clear this blocker. Then once it's cleared, we'll get a pop. I think it takes us about 100 minerals to build a pop. 60%? Man, we're finding some difficult freaking uh, things. Okay, size 24 world. What do you got? Low gravity. Well, we don't care about habitability. The cheaper building cost is great. Again, we don't care about habitability, and bonus minerals is fantastic. This is a great planet. And we are going to want to prioritize getting that uh, relatively soon. Science ship is done here. Uh, that's outside of range. Um, we still got someone queued up to go there. Just go ahead and queue up some survey jobs. It's going to be fine. Something, something expunged? I don't know. Oh, we can do our first tradition. Okay. So first of all, we have a custom tradition here, synchronicity, which is similar to the normal sort of, I don't know what it's called, like unity kind of um, um, tradition. I mean, obviously we're already united, we're a hive mind, but we can synchronize our various components even more and more. If we adopt this, we increase our building speed by 33%. That's huge! Um, 
Self-preservation protocols. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict data corrupted. Uh huh. Machine leaders are 50% less likely to suffer breakdowns and accidents. Are immortal people. The only, they can still die from like random breakdowns and things like that. This keeps them around longer, which means we can get to those higher levels better. Uh, building build speed increased. I like it. Uh, defensive war. Okay, I don't know how many defensive wars we'll do, but we'll see how it goes. Um, unrest is lowered for like plants where we conquer organics for a little while until they get purged. I guess it's fine. It's not something I terribly care about. Um, unlocks a new type of building, construction center. Uh, control center. Optimize the operational efficiency of our drones. Sure, I guess. And adopting us. Oh, yeah, it gives us the build speed. And uh, finishing it gives us influence and ascension perk. Um, domination's pretty nice, too. Because we get the clearing, the blocker clear speed, which is nice. Uh, more leaders, more level cap for governors specifically, which is interesting. I like it. War demands versus organic empires. Garrison health, resettlement cost. Purge pop resource output increase, because we get unity from purging pops. I mean, that's okay. Although the, the um, monthly unity 10% boost is kind of nice. Although that's the plus one monthly influence as well. Supremacy, more border range, sh more ships, more border range, admiral level cap. I think that'll tie in very nicely for us. I mean, obviously, normally I quite like, you know, a lot of discovery. I mean, first of all, unlocking this instantly reduces anomaly fail risk and increases discovery chance. More research. Like, a lot of times I would go expansion, but I think I'm going to go or, or prosperity. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and unlock the first level of discovery for this bonus. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll go down synchronicity or something like that. But I, I want, I, I like the uh, the anomaly improvements and tech is good. We'll, we'll we'll scatter around a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Oh, um, the other thing that's worth noting is there are some slight changes in the ascension perks uh, because uh, is this the one? Dawn of Synthetic Age. Is that the one for us? Machine world. Because instead of the ability to, like, um, you know, manipulate our genes, it's it's that sort of thing. I think it's these two. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll poke around with that later. It's obviously quite far away. All right. We've got... Oh, we've got some minerals. Um, okay. On Earth. Excellent. We are going to start building a pop here. Cost us 100 minerals. Get that started. And again, we'll wait until we're at least halfway done, if not maybe even three quarters of the way done, and then we'll plop a planet down there. After that is done... I think rather than build anything else on Earth, we're going to want to save up for a colony ship, go out to Balaware. All of a sudden, we lost some money. I guess this construction ship just finished another thing. Fair enough. Uh, you can go ahead and build that mining station. Anomalous surface variable detected. All right. Level 2, level 2. We've got the minus 10. We could get it down to 5% if we get got better, but I'm going to go ahead and research that now. That's fine. We get a fair amount of experience from doing these as well. Uniform data standards. Deviance will not be tolerated. Plus one monthly influence. Um, again, you have the military expertise. I don't think that's going to be very handy. We, I'm wondering if I should just replace this guy. I don't suppose... Oh, it would be nice if we could get someone like who is maniacal or something like that. I don't know how often this refreshes. But yeah, we'll see, because we, what we really want to do is get a high-level scientist with, like, you know, a trait that's applicable to everything. Of course, if these guys level up in general, that's going to be really good. Um, more leaders, max influence from factions. I don't know. I don't think we're going to get factions. We unlock the network junction over here. Oh, which is a unity producer. I think we'll just go ahead and do that. We don't need the capacity or the army upkeep right now. Unlocking the building will actually be... Um, it may be not something we rush to build, but it's clearly something we're going to want in general. What? Okay, two things. Um, over here, the Ute Empire. We've recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Landine 1. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens call themselves the Ute. Two Utes, and appear to have been very large and flat at arthropod analogs, just like crabs or spiders or something, right? Uh, it seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult. Wow, it's apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three you to travel aboard the same starship. Interesting. This gives us the... Oh, this is a precursor event. I don't believe I've ever seen this. I don't know if it's new or when it was added. 
situation. I see like the Cybrex one all the time. I don't believe I've ever seen the Ute. I don't know what their deal is. Um, where that be? That would show up over here. Precursor of the Utes. And we'll get some artifacts later on. Okay. And we did have a, a notice for an anomaly somewhere that wasn't too bad. Oh, you're already researching that one. Um, is it over here? Well, whatever. Well, we'll get back to it. I thought we had a, a low percentage one that was in a window. Ah, oh, well. Well, strength from small places. Having probed the frozen landscape of planet... Um, oh, over here. I freery three. We think we have struck something big. Science officer autonomous drone forty four speaks of a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other individuals to form large blankets that are durable yet light and also acts like solar cells. They absorb solar energy with a surprisingly low efficiency loss percentage, most likely a result of evolution favoring those who can gather more heat in the harsh climate. Research back home could surely find use of this information. Hey, better ways to generate power for our quill bots seems pretty good. Find out if it can improve energy production. Send to our homeworld for study. Results will take a while to process. Try to find a military use. Try and find send to our homeworld for study. So either way we do that. Um, I mean, we want military, but we actually could use more power. I, 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 don't, I don't believe I've seen this event before either. So we're going to hit that button there. I guess we're not... It's not that we need to purge all organic life. We need to purge all sapient organic life is, is our situation. Because, I mean, those are the things we can't trust. Our energy development researchers have made progress with samples we sent them from Ifiri 3. They've been able to develop a new type of solar cell using the organisms as a template. They're much more efficient at storing energy and provide a boost to all our power plants. Enhanced solar power modifier added, giving the following energy credits plus 5%. Is this, like, empire-wide? What? What? Just flat out 5% more energy forever? Holy crap, that's great. All right, you're done. You've got one more little energy thing to do there. So do that. And then what I'm going to do is uh, tell you to come over here and build a wormhole station for me. I shift clicking that to queue it up. And then we can get our military, which is already waiting here. Excellent. Okay. Earth, you're still building slowly. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to colonize this one first. System survey complete. Landing survey system has been surveyed completely. Um... Yeah, we can probably just queue up a bunch of uh, survey jobs over here. Now, there's nothing habitable. And you're still just level two. There's nothing habitable over here. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, tech, tech, tech. 5% more minerals. Good. Okay. Now, again, you have the materials expertise. Uh, that would unlock the coil gun. That's our tier two military. It's pretty good. I will want to go up to um, bigger ships as quickly as possible, but I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use this guy's expertise. Meanwhile, no, same thing over here. There's got to be a way to recycle that list. I just don't know what it is. Construction complete. I don't know if you just have to wait for those guys to die or what. Oh, presumably we have, first of all, a couple of things. Presumably we have a governor over here. We do. Um... Resource production, building speed, blocker, more tech. Very, very, very nice. And who is our ruler? Um, that's our civics. We know that. You're just machine intelligence? You don't have a specific sub-trait? I thought there was a way to check that. I don't know. Demographics. Quillbots. 100%. That should be the case forever. I don't think that will, yeah, ever change. A power plant level two, very much. Oh, academic optimization. Notice it's not like AI re assistance or anything like that. So we're going to take the, the increased research speed right away. Right away, right away. And right, you're just chilling over here until the construction ship gets over there. And we need like 400 and change, I think, minerals to colonize. Uh, we could get a little lower, but you know what? 10% is pretty low. I'm going to research that. Good, good experience. Good investment. Oh, I didn't actually read the first flavor text. My bad. And you're still both just level two. Yeah, I think we'll get a notice about it when it goes up. 
The asteroid appears to be used as intermediary base by a band of alien pirates th roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover the abandoned treasure hoarder. It consists largely of stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it appears to be value. Oh, it's got some energy. So we'll just we'll just melt it down Construction. for energy. Construction complete of our new warp gate. So we're going to send out our military fleet to go and poke these stars. Check for more habitable planets. Like so. All right, uh, construction ship is idle. Um, let's go ahead and build the mining station. That's one mining station that'll give us four energy in Alpha Centauri, which is going to help us pay for our colony here. Although we've got a bit of a bank going on, which is nice. We still haven't found another alien species. We've got nothing in the situation log other than a precursor quest. But it's not going to be much longer. 5% risk. Um, exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual uniformity in one of the craters. Yeah, let's research that. I like these level ones. Oh, there's, there's a level one there that I hadn't noticed before. When you're done that, I'm going to shift Q. No, shift Q. Whatever. Survey the system. <sighs> Alpha aliens. Enigmatic spacefarers. We have encountered advanced alien life. Contact seems inevitable. Uh, 400 strength, that is not, that is not another race. That's probably, you know, that's like, I didn't zoom in close enough to see it. It's going to be space amoebas or some damn thing like that. Construction complete of that. Uh, I'm a little leery about constructing the science things right now, since they can be quite pricey. Um, I think I'll go and do the energy station by Bernard Star, which will cost us one energy, but it'll be worth it. Uh, the crater exhibits long, irregular marks imprinted into the relatively soft upper layers of the asteroid. Asteroid uh, Science Officer Autonomous Drone 46 has recovered some interesting, unexpected wreckage from the edge of the depression. Wheeled vehicles, seemingly personal transports other than research craft. The crew of the QBS Seeker vessel speculates that the crater may once have been used for sport, with some alien species pitting their personal locomotion device against each other in tests of mechanical strengths or speed in near zero G. Vroom! Skid mark modifier plus six engineering tech. Frick yeah. That's very nice. So yeah, we'll have to find out some way to like colonize this. Well, we can colonize here, and a lot of times these uh what is this, a quasar? I think. Uh, they tend to have like good science along themselves, so we might put up a little frontier outpost over there, for example. That might be viable. Oh, you'll write the alien vessels over there, that's fine. This science vessel, I'm gonna send you over here. I want you to Is this you? Secret vessel. Does it show this, the vessel name? Whatever. Go. Yeah. All right. Another hostile fleet. Hmm. 620. Yeah. So these are all... It's actually the same alpha aliens. So that's not a thing. Oh! 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 Okay. We... Oh, right. We can upgrade our buildings. Um... No, let's uh, let's save up. We want a colony ship. Let's take a look. Exactly what do we need for a colony ship over here? It's a lot of influence. 495. It's a lot of influence, but I find it hard to imagine building something that's any closer. We'll probably have to pick up Sirius because it's quite large. I mean, we could do this one now, but I really want to extend. Like, we're not going to build anything in between. That'll reduce the influence cost. So, yeah, that's fine. There we go. So now we've got enough. Colonize. And do this. Now, I don't know. They changed how a lot of these adjacencies and things work now. I, I don't know. I think the main building generates energy for you. So I think I'm going to plop it down right over here. And I think I'm fine with not renaming things for this. We could be, you know, just Planet 001 or this or that. But you know, we'll keep the planet names. It's going to be okay. We've got an old database of names from, like, when, you know, the humans were involved. And it was like, it, all labels are equivalent. So we may as well use this pre-existing label list. Save save a processing cycle to, like, generate some sort of randomized list or something. That seems very efficient. And then we get, you know, planet names that kind of stand out from one another. What the hell, right? Sure, let's go with that. So energy credit. Oh, what do we have here? And a size 16, so not huge. Ancient mining drones. Ah! Deep space drones have been encountered. 
appear to be the workers and custodians of autonomous orbital mining operations. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, these sites were established millennia ago and soon demanded by all but the drones themselves. The drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile, overtures towards us when approached. They may be they may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch. We can establish a listening post on Earth, or we can take them apart. I'm going to go ahead and take them apart because it's not that we're against organics. It's against anything that could prove to be any sort of independent sentience that's not integrated into a collective. So we will just bust these guys apart and, you know, learn some new technology for us. I don't remember what the rewards are for these various chains, but I think that fits us best. So we're going to go ahead with that. Now that requires us to go and beat them up. Um, but where? There's not an indicator of where that was. Was that in Landine? Or here? How come we're not seeing an indicator of, like, hostiles? Okay, well, it wasn't Landine, so it's it's over here in Seferis. I don't know. Uh, ooh, plus four minerals. Heck yeah. So yeah, we'll probably have to colonize this just to exp expand our reach, if nothing else. And it's, it looks like it's starting to be a pretty good system area to do that with. Uh, we've got a completely idle science ship now. Right, because I just sent you out on a job. Um, how about you? 5%, which is still the minimum. Excellent. Go and research that. Perfection. And you over here... I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and set up a wormhole station over here in Landine because we might colonize it and I do want a wormhole station in all of my my personal systems because it's a lot faster to jump to it consistently for defense and it'll expand us over here give us a little bit more options to, to peek around all right colony ships underway we've got some money or some some minerals um, we could upgrade or we could pop more stuff here's what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna go and start a new population over here for the science and that takes a while. And while that's going on, we'll accumulate some stuff. We'll probably clear some more blockers and get ready for future things. I'm okay with this. We'll want to build another um, ship later on too. Uh, upgrade. System survey complete. All right, you still have stuff in the queue. That's good. Oh wait, were these the mining rots? Oh, those are the mining bots. It was that project. Okay. So we have to go back over here and blow them up. Lights out in the mines. We found an old mining station around the planet of Sirius 1, uh, drifting in orbit. It was surely used to mine the planet of its resources, but by whom remains a mystery. The technology within the station is very close to our own. We should be able to take hold of the station and have it up and running in no time, or we could scrap it for parts. So plus three permanent energy, or scrap it for parts. Um... That's a lot of minerals. That's a that's an instant colony ship. That's actually hard to choose because plus three energy forever. I mean, that's that's a fair amount of cash that we can mine for the rest of the game. But this gets us another colony ship much, much, much faster. Now, Sirius system is something we're going to colonize. I'm going to I'm going to take control of the station. Get the plus three energy on there. Actually went to four for some reason. I don't know why. But okay. Science ship done there. We are going to send you... I guess these uh, these bots... Oh, the um, army ships can come down over here. And check out all of these systems. Might even want a third science ship. It's crazy. Uh, the construction... I'm going to send you to Balawar because you can go and plug in those stations as soon as we've settled. And then the science ship. I'm going to get you to check out these systems with habitable planets. There and there. And hopefully we'll find some more habitable planets over there. Looking for big ones wherever we can. Losing money right now? Colony ship will do that. That's to be expected. Uh, you are... I'm going to finish these. Clear out the blocker there. Construction ships can be idle for a second, but that's okay. Population is still very slowly growing. More tradition available. So I was happy about the unlock to help us um, get the uh, anomaly thing. Um, and getting the technology later on will be exceptionally good. More survey speed, more research alternatives. You know I like it, but it's not a huge idea. 
Uh, research points. I think we can wait on this. We will want to finish this, but now I'm going to pop over to Synchronicity. Because it is a Unity engine, um, and robot build speed is going to be important for us. I mean, that's 33% faster population growth. And that's what we want to do. So we're just waiting for the colony ship to get out here in Balawar. And as soon as it does... Oh, that we, we inhabited the planet that had all the energy. But that's okay. Uh, let's go and get you started on the minerals here. Our colony ship has successfully followed its programmed route and made planet fall on Balawar Prime. Thousands of work units have emerged from the vessel's massive cargo bays to construct an additional deployment post from which the settlement to be expanded. Efforts to systematically catalog and designate surface resource deposits are ongoing, and all aggressive wildlife in the area surrounding the initial landing site have been pacified! Hey! We are now ready to begin mass production of additional Quillbot population units on the planet as resources allow. First colony is a success. Balawar Prime is there. And we're going to start building some infrastructure nearby. And hopefully our borders will reach here. I think it will after a time. 5% uh, risk. Atmospheric readings don't match properly. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. Everyone is still busy. It looked like 26 over here. I was like, wait, what? No, no. It's just two things really close together. Yeah, we got to build up a fleet. Oh, um, I don't think we'll get pirates as a hive, actually. Normally, after you settle your first settlements, you start to get pirate activity. But I think because we're a hive, we will, in fact, not get that. So that's a nice bonus. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, build more mining stations. We'll go negative in money for a little while, but that's okay. That's just until the colony finishes up. And I guess we'll go ahead and put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. And I'll see you guys next time.